If you have ever bought cryptos, then this one video is really, really going to be important for you. I'll be talking about hardware wallets. I've recently purchased the Ledger Nano S Plus. So I'll be talking all about it. I'll be unboxing it, doing the setup in front of you guys and a lot many things. I'll be answering all of your questions. So stay tuned for this video. Right now, I've seen a lot of centralized exchanges going down. Even Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange had come under some controversy and some scrutiny so we'll be talking about why hardware wallets are important especially in such a period of time and why i am switching over to these cold storages so make sure to press the like button subscribe to the channel and let's go now this is not a sponsored video and it contains my genuine review about the product i've used it for over a week now so let's see how it all goes now I've written a couple of questions over here and I'll be going over each one of them in detail. So what is a cold storage? What is this hardware wallet exactly? And why is it even needed? So the first thing is that a cold storage basically is not connected to the internet. Right now, if you look at this particular Ledger Nano S Plus, it's not connected to the internet at all. What it means is any cryptos that I store over here is securely stored over here itself. It's not like your software wallets like Metamask or Trust Wallet, which is always connected to the internet, which is always in your Chrome extensions bar right this over here is not connected to the internet at all now because it is not connected to the web it becomes really resistant to hacking okay so we've talked about what is it exactly but why is it important you might have seen the news about FTX wherein the entire exchange just got shut off and people who had invested their hard-earned money and bought cryptos on their platforms were not able to withdraw them. The reason is because all of these different centralized exchanges, be it FTX, Binance or any other centralized exchange, they create non-custodial wallets. What it means is these wallets are not yours. These are wallets controlled by the exchanges themselves. You do not get the private keys of these wallet addresses and that's why if they decide you cannot even withdraw the funds or deposit new funds if you wanted to that's where a lot of people shifted over to using software wallets these wallets do provide you with a private key and a seed phrase which you can use in order to access your wallet directly but another main problem with it is that even though this wallet is owned by you it is still connected to the internet making it not so secure. There have been numerous examples of Metamask wallets being hacked because its seed phrase was somehow stolen. So that's where cold storages come into place. Okay, so the Ledger Nano S Plus comes with this particular box. And the first thing that you see is trust yourself with the documentation below it. And uh, let's just go over to the secret recovery sheet. Now, this is the sheet that I was talking about and you basically get this to write your secret recovery code or your seed phrase. The seed phrase is a 24 word phrase which you can basically store securely over here. You have to remember it. If you forget this, then you can basically say bye bye to all of your cryptos because that is one of the most important things when it comes to your wallet. Apart from this, you have the ledger device directly. Now, this is where all the magic happens. You can see there's a small display and there are two buttons at the top with C type charging port on the sides. Now, this is not a charging port. This is basically to connect it with your phone or whatever you have. Apart from this, it also comes with free bitcoins. Yes, you can actually redeem bitcoins using this particular code and by the way if you go over to the link in my description or in the pinned comments you would be getting this as well apart from this the final piece of the puzzle is where you get this particular cute little keychain and apart from that you also get the wire which is used to connect your ledger device 
with a USB port. Now most of the phones might not have a USB port so you would have to additionally buy a USB to C type port. So I've already bought that but it does not come with the Ledger Nano S Plus. Now cold storages or these hardware wallets basically help you in storing your cryptocurrencies and these are cryptos that you might not want to use for a long time. So these wallets are not connected to the internet at all. However, whenever you store your cryptos, these cryptos are stored on the blockchain. When you set up your Ledger wallet or any of these hardware wallets, you get a seed phrase. With Ledger, you get a 24 word seed phrase and that is something that you need to securely store. If you have lost your Ledger wallet or you cannot buy any other hardware wallet, even if it is from some other company. So you need to store the seed phrase really carefully. I'll be talking about how to store it and where I have stored my seed phrase so that you can replicate uh, the same process. But this seed phrase will actually help you in accessing your wallet from anywhere in the world on any device you want. You can even open this crypto wallet on Trezor or any other hardware wallet of your choice. So that means even if this particular device gets broken, if you somehow drop it in a glass of water or whatever happens to this device, your cryptos are still securely stored on the blockchain and you can access it using the seed phrase that was given to you by this particular device. Another thing is that you can use the seed phrase on your MetaMask wallet also in order to open it over there. However, I do not recommend it at all because this is a cold storage. You've purchased this cold storage so that it does not connect to the internet. Now, if you use the seed phrase on MetaMask, it basically destroys the whole purpose. Now, another question that a lot of people have is because this hardware wallet is not connected to the internet, can you still receive cryptos even when it is not? Yes, you can absolutely receive cryptos whenever you want. The reason is because even though this wallet is not connected to the internet, your cryptos are stored on the blockchain and blockchain is live 24-7. Until and unless it's Solana, which kind of goes out every now and then. Apart from this, this particular wallet has a display over here, as you can see. Now, this display does not show you the exact amount of cryptos that you have and all of these things. In fact, you would have to connect it with, say, phone or something of that sort in order to check your balance. So with Ledger, they have another application which is called as Ledger Live. Now, once you connect with this application, you can see your balance. You can see how many Bitcoins or Ethereum or whatever cryptos you have in your wallet. You can see it all you can even see NFTs stored in your wallet. Apart from this, many people have this misconception that you need to charge this crypto wallet. You don't need to charge it. This automatically gets on when you connect it with your phone. If you remove it, it switches off instantaneously. Let me just show it to you. Yeah. Now, when you buy this Ledger Nano S Plus, you get a lot of different things. One of those things is a place to store your seed phrase. So when you're setting up your Ledger device for the first time, you would be shown with a 24 word seed phrase and you need to securely store it. If you lose it by any chance, you lose all of the cryptos that you have on your wallet. Now Ledger Nano S Plus costs around 8 to 9,000 rupees uh, depending on where you live and uh, when I bought it in India, I also had to pay an additional of around 4,000 rupees for the customs duty which I was not expecting and I was not mentioned about it earlier but yeah, that's there. So that's it for this video. If you like this video and if you want to see more of such videos then do press the like button, do share this video with your friends. It takes a lot of effort in creating these types of videos so your support means a lot do comment your views down below have you bought your own hardware wallet if not what are you waiting for the link is down in the description box below as well as in the pinned comment so go check it out right away